Thank you very much. And also, last September, I was the one member of the state legislature that utilized the Supreme Court decision that became law in 2008. And we also passed a law that said whether you're married or in a domestic partner relationship, you can take the last name of either partner going whatever way you want. Since uh, my partner and now spouse and I are both named John, he said he's going to take my last name and keep running as John Laird when I'm termed out. And that is one benefit that we have that nobody else has by marriage. Now when we extended domestic partner rights in 2002 and passed the marriage bill twice on the floor of the legislature, it was my job to stand up on the floor and give the speech about the sweep of history in California. And I talked about the fact that in the 1880s the voter said nobody that's Chinese American can own property in California. And yet the courts said you cannot vote away basic civil rights and overturn that decision. And in the 1960s, the legislature said, you cannot discriminate in who you sell a house to on the basis of color. And the voters actually overturned that in California. And so the courts said, you cannot vote away basic civil rights and overturn that vote. Of the and that was the exact premise on which the court acted last year. And it is the reason right now that the decision is bigger than us who were married, bigger than those that want to get married. It means that any time the voters choose to take a civil right away, if they don't uh, oppose Prop 8 and overturn it, then any future civil rights law is in danger. And so now we have to argue that it's that broader decision. That's why it's an issue for everybody in California. And we further have changed things. 60% in 2000, 52%. I task each one of you. We have to turn two out of every 100 Californians. We have to change their opinion wherever you are. And I am very proud to be a former mayor of the city of Santa Cruz where last November, where last November Almost 85% of the voters in the city limits voted no on Proposition 8. And so we have a bigger challenge in Santa Cruz. We only have 50% to 15% to work with to get 2% to switch. Some of you have more to work with. And so that's what we have to do. We have to argue that you can't take away civil rights. The issue is larger than everyone. The tide of history is on our side. And we have to turn two out of 100 of Californians in every city, every county, every locality in this state. And we will win. We will turn this around. So that's we're going to win. It's up to you. Let's get out there and turn people on to victory. Thanks for having me here.